Welcome to East Brunswick High School. Today it's volleyball as the Bears take on the Monroe Falcons in the semifinal girls volleyball tournament. Girls come in as the number one seed with a 19-2 record. The Falcons at 19-4. However, the semifinals that we know you can throw out the records in the seeds. When it gets down to that final four, anything can happen. Um, it's my favorite time of the year, and I know it's my guest host, my guest uh, Coach Rutt's favorite time of the year, and that's tournament time. Coach, your team's always excelled at tournament when you coach the boys and the girls. Um, so what is the secret to the success of your of East Brunswick Volleyball tournament time? Well, I think it's it. I think for me, it's always been the focus on the fundamentals throughout the year. Right. I, the the I feel like the regular season is is just practice. It's great if you play well in it, but it's just practice. Right. Your your, your job is to it, for me, my job was to always to win titles for these kids to get them an opportunity to to win a GMC to win a, a region or a state title. Right. Um. You know, because if you if you end the regular season, you know, twenty one and zero. But you don't win anything. Right. Nobody. Sometimes it could be, right. And I've always, and on these broadcasts for many years, I've always said how you always emphasize the fundamentals. And probably that's why at the end of the year is when those fundamentals are kicking in and the, the better skilled team is going to win. So, yeah, as I said before, this is the semifinals. They were the number one seed. We've been the four seed. We've been the number one seed. So, uh, I expect this to be a pretty good game. Yeah, yeah. I've uh, got the opportunity to, to be out there right now. That was uh, Sam Balsamo with an ace. Uh, ace, for those new viewers, is a right. one touch or less serve where they win the point. She's a very nice floater. It doesn't come out to seem to be too too aggressive, but if you watch carefully, the ball moves. It's a knuckleball right. and baseball. Nice the baseball, All right. Yep. Good swing right yeah, there. Makes a 1-1-1. One, one, one. And when you get the chance, Coach, you'll just uh, give us our starting lineup up out there. All right, right now, uh, going around the horn, uh, Sam Balsamo is the setter who just served. Number three, Emily Liu is the, the outside hitter. Number 29, uh, Emily Chinchar is the middle you'll see coming to your screen right there. And swinging at the ball right there is Selena Zhao. She's the opposite, normally will play on the right side. Um, Oh my Number nine is Jordan Harwitz. She, uh, one of the two players, just made all division all conference along with Sam. And number seven is not in the game right now. Uh, Lavanya Colbencheri. She's uh, exchanged out by the libero, um, who is the girl in green, Beth Anania. Okay. Uh, as, as you see, the Bears seem to be playing with a lot of enthusiasm. The last time I saw the Bears, it was, I guess it was against Bridgewater. We just didn't come out like we were on fire. This looks like a completely different uh, team, but it could be like you said, it could be because it's tournament time. Ooh. All right, that's gonna happen though. Right. Gotta come out, gotta rebound. And uh, I know uh, uh, your wife, Coach Rutz, the other, Coach Rutz, her and I used to go crazy on when that ball went into the net. Not a, not a big fan of first serve errors. You got to make the team oh, put pressure on you. That's a good point there where you want to get a couple points first, right? It's a and hitter error right the there by Jordan Horowitz. But uh, if it is such a good thing, a good error, right? An, an aggressive Yeah, she's hit. swinging. She's swinging. Uh, Jordan's going to, she's a junior right now. She's the best hitter on a team, most consistent hitter on a team. Um, She's well on her way to being a, a, a very, right. very good ball player. Got some, some stuff that uh, I know she's been working on. I know Coach Mortera has been working on, really trying to make her uh, accelerate to the ball with her feet, mm -hmm. which is going to you know generate an enormous amount of power. That was a great serve right there by Emily Chinchar. You see the ball kind of rise a little bit. Girl had trouble with her hands. And uh, you coach most of these girls at the freshman level? These girls out here, or uh, yeah, yeah, there's, yeah, yeah. There's, a, there's, at some point in time, I've coached them on JV or freshman. Right. Yeah. Miscommunication right there by the back row going to the yeah. front row. As the uh, crowd just joined us, I'm Frank Knopfmerger, and I'm joined by longtime 
Coach of the Year, Greg Rutz, who's very successful as the boys' head coach and the women's head coach, is joining us in this telecast. It's the semifinals of the DMC tournament, and it's the Bears, the number one seed, hosting Monroe. I misspoke earlier. The Bears are currently 22 and 2. I must have been sleeping for a couple games, uh, <laughs> a few games. I thought it was 19. So my apologies to the coach and the girls. See, I like that aggressive block by us. Yeah, and right now. Here we go. Good hustle. Good hustle. Right now, the uh, number seven, that's uh, Lavanya. She's a uh, normally plays on the right side, but due to injury, they've had to move her to the middle. And uh, uh, the end of last game, she had two or three blocks late in the game, and she come out making contact already. Uh, shows shows uh, shows good progression to the position. Good pass right there by Beth. And that's. That's just a great set and hit. And what Monroe's got to do is cover that middle. What, what, what is that called? The middle of the field there? The donut or something? No, just the middle of the field. No, no. <laughs> your, no your, not. your bride called, no. had a call for that the other day. We'll check the telecast. He's just making stuff up now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Bears. Okay, coach, so the linesman called that out. The judge was right there. Can he overrule the line? Yes, 100% yes. Uh, I know that the uh, coaches right now are discussing this with the down ref, uh, right. but from that position, the up ref actually has a better position. Uh, I believe that the ball shadowed the line, but not make contact with the line. It's a very soft contact, so it didn't expand and make contact. Um, well, and I've always said to a fault, you were very honest in your calls. Uh, especially when you were coaching. Yeah, I, always, I always felt like it would come back to you at some right. point. Maybe not that match, but somewhere down the line. Karma. You're, karma. Yeah, you're going to get you're gonna get a bad official who's going to call stuff against other teams, and you're going to get freebie points that, you know, that maybe you gave away, you know, making the correct call right. earlier. Well, that shows so, sportsmanship in class, little, something we've always preached at East Thunder yeah. here. Always a little tighter during this time of the year, though. Not oh, always, yeah. Well, not always it, so free to give away points when it comes to yeah, it's, tournament it's time. It's a uh, tournament time. That's what it's all about. I mean, right now our girls' soccer is in the semifinals. I believe right now, I believe that's three right now on, on EB. We, you right. know, it's simply right there. You put those balls in play. We got a, we got a battle out of this. This is now an 11-7 ball game, not a 9-8 ball game. Correct. So. Not a guarantee of winning a point, but when you're giving away a freebie, you know you haven't won it. Good hustle right there. Good hustle right Good there. Good hustle by, the by that team. I like the way our girls didn't celebrate and coming that, right back. Swing right there by Chinchar. Free ball coming here. Boy, our girls are all over the floor. Good. That's it. Great play placement. right there. Good vision on the whole court there. Who made that play, Coach? That was uh, Emily Tinchar again. She, uh, the Kayla came back to her twice in a row. Right, that's number her, 29, I believe, right? Yep, yep giving her a good, uh, getting a good rhythm in early. Also, when you set middles early in a match, it allows, uh, it ends up allowing your pin hitters, your right side and your outside, more opportunity later to double right there on the setter. Right. To, uh, you know, uh, it's similar to baseball. When you know, when you're when you're getting you're getting calls on the outside part of the strike zone, that strike zone gets a little bit bigger as the game goes on. Same thing happens here. Your seam in the block is a little bit bigger if you get middle established early. Right. Out. Oh man, is that four? That's that's my count. That's four right there. That, that's that's unlike Samantha. Yeah, very but, consistent server. But we got to they got to shake that off, right? That's yep. The server. You can see you can see confidence in them. You don't see them. I think they're annoyed by themselves, but they're not. That's it, Em. Nice cover right there. Way to follow the ball. Oh. No, that's okay right there. Put it in the hands of a middle who's not not a very good passer. I don't know what that was. Well, it's a good defensive play there. We go. It's a good swing right there by the middle. Obviously, number four for them. He's got some nice uh, height and a little bit of a jump and hits the ball well. It makes it 11-10. It's, it's a ball game. That's uh, Melissa Miller for Monroe.
They got some nice serving there, but we yeah. seem to be handling it well, right? Yes, I think last time they played, they, uh, they, they stated that one or two of the servers from Monroe were very, very aggressive and firm and uh, put them on their heels a little bit. It took them to three. So you're going to see that. This is the opportunity for the Bears to, to side out against a good server and not give them an opportunity to make multiple contacts. All right, put it away, kid. No, nope, not going to happen there. Not ready for that swing. That was a nice rally. It wasn't real pure volleyball, but both teams hustled to keep the ball alive. Do you believe when it's a game like this and, it, and it's like 11-11 and it's close, do they hold back a little bit on the swings? Oh, you? definitely, definitely. No matter no how no matter how often you preach swing to win, that's a great free ball right there by Sam Balsamo. That you, ball had eyes. Yep, you uh, we you practice and you preach ball to the corner, ball to the corner, especially this deep corner here. The setter's there, so they're releasing, they're leaving that spot quite often. So, you know, you're forcing somebody to play more ground than they normally do. That's a great free ball. That's what the exact comment that coach. Strauss Rutz made our last telecast that area. Yeah, that uh, the, the the basketball key, the green area is a no-no for a free ball because there's always their, one of their best passers is standing in it. So, mm -hmm. a little uh, blocking error right there. They're not they're not getting across. Okay, now, now th th those those faults or net balls are coming back to hurt us here because it's now it's a 12-12 game. We're letting yep. Yep. the other team think they're. That's actually a really good bump set right there by... Set in? Yes, yeah, a little three-quarter. Smart heads-up play right there by Jordan. Taking a little off it and placing the ball. Right. Seeing the open court. Yeah, low set right there. Yeah, that girl wasn't ready for that. I think that the lift, I believe, was called on the setter. Uh, the middle had no chance attacking that ball. It was a full ball below the tape. Both, and you who are a veteran realize these are two, would you say, two of our better officials around? Uh, yes, yes. The, the other official is actually the head boys coach for St. Joe's. That's right. uh, Miguel Cabrita. Um, very consistent, you know. Gonna allow you to play a little bit, but when push comes to shove, he's gonna make sure you know Hey, you can't do that as the, oh, misread right there by the young blocker. Good swing right there, good swing right there. That makes it 15-13 the Bears. Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't feel like they're winning the game right now though. No. Oh, good great save. Up, great up by Selena. <laughs> Wish we could replay that for the audience and uh, make a correction on several of the EB players right there. I'm a right. Well, that's why this. That's why the, the tapes of these games and you volunteering your time for the parents and the kids and the coaches. It's such a great teaching tool to get this tape and to watch. Great, great swing right there. Tight set, great swing. Well, that's one of my favorite plays. I know you guys used to do that. Yeah. The, the boys level, very good. The, the quick set puts the defense on their heels. And uh, being that there's a, a clear height differential right there between the, the, the Monroe middle. Right. Another good. Emma Trask and, and our middle, the young uh, Colin Pincherry. Lift call right there. You're allowed to uh, double contact the first ball over, but you are not allowed to extend contact or lift the first ball over. Okay, so Bears are still up one. Yeah, try try to finesse him there, huh? Try to, try to place it. Here we go. It's a ball you got to take care of right there. They give you a free ball, you got to put it away right there. Like that. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. 
What was that call? Uh, net on Jordan, I believe. Net on the outside hitter, number oh, nine. I didn't like that call. All right, now it's a brand new ball game. Another nice. That's just knowing where you are on the court, a sense of where the players are. Just and there's Coach Patera, as you can see, cheering the kit team on. Very positive. Done a uh, done a great job in the last couple of weeks, really being vocal with his team, and uh, and For and giving them the information they need to be successful. Well, I mean, it, it, it's tournament time, and you know, I believe this is his second year as head coach, right? No, third. Third, third. Year. Yeah, I know. I thought the same thing. Oh, uh, look at that. She didn't give him any time to get set. Good timeout by their coach. Timeout, Monroe. All right, let's see if we're set up to go into the huddle with coach. Okay. Uh, he, I think he preferred not to be coach. He didn't want to give out any more strategies. So what's he saying to them right now, coach? Because you've coached them and you've been around them for I don't know how many years. Yeah, I, I think I think the biggest thing right now is just trying to keep them focused and keep them, you know, keep them calm. Like you know, Monroe's in this match, but they're in this match because we're not taking care of business. So right. if they go out there and do their job, they serve a little bit better, they hit a little stronger, they place a few more balls. You know, now that th this match gets into our possession, where. It's not right now. It's an even ball game. Monroe's doing what they got to do. They're playing good right. defense. They're running a strong middle, knowing that they're, that's their advantage right now. So, uh, you know. All right, so now if, if it's our serve, is he recommending that they hold up on the power drill? Just keep hitting your serve, right? Keep throwing that fastball. That's what got you here, right? Yep. Yeah, we, we, when you get to this level, you know a, a timeout is called more to, to ice the pitcher, so to speak, right. ice the server than anything else. So you got to come out. This is the first serve again. This is your second time at the first serve. You got to come out and, and, and look to place the ball. You know, right. maybe three quarter it, not, you know, you're not trying to kill it. Get it in there. Three quarter and find a space. Like right now, I know they have, they have some stuff that they, from playing them recently, they understand what they want to do with the ball. Just like that. Seam three. Great swing right there. I don't know if there's a, looking for looking for a block touch Great right there. Touch. No touch right there. No. Uh, the up, the up official gave him the I don't think so eyes. Right, and the coach agreed, but yep. he was maybe begging that we all have done. Yeah. Oh. Another good serve right there by Jordan, keeping him in that good take right there. I don't know what's going on there, but. <laughs> Well, get it over, kid. Doing all right. The, uh, it's a good ball right there. Good ball right there by EB. Staying in it. These are the long points they got to win. These are the long points they got to win. How'd that get in there? Uh, I didn't believe it went outside the antenna. Oh, right. Okay, that's what I thought. Another, right. another timeout right here by Monroe. Monroe. He's See? just trying to keep him in the match, right? You can't right. let it get away. Because five points is big at this level, right? I mean, when you're up 21. Right now, it's a side-out ball game. They side-out, we side-out. Right, they side-out, we side-out. Game's ours. But you can't stop being aggressive. No, right? not at all. The second you let up, they put on a three-point rally, four-point rally, and they're in the game again. It's tight, right. Right, because of the, the rally scoring, you know, they side-out here, go to 17, put three on the board. Now it's 21-20. <laughs> then you're, then you're yep. getting tight. Yep. Now, right now, right now, offensively speaking, East Brunswick's probably in their weakest rotation. They have their, their second middle in, their second outside in. Um, and their second right side in the front row right now. So right. They, they've got to take care of business as far as they've got to make good passes. If they get the opportunity on a free ball, they've, they've got to put it away. Oh. Um, maybe look to go to Jordan down the pipe, right down the middle, out of the back row. Great observation. Another great serve, going middle. It's right where I would have gone. Well, that's, what, you know, that's good coaching on their part. They yep. set up the big girl. Yep. There's a, there's a saying in volleyball, you can't stop over. Right. So if she's above you, and you, no matter how big your block is, if she's hitting over you, you can't stop over. So here we got to just get a, a stop and get that rotation. Yep. Nope. All right. I didn't see Coach uh, get a little, Coach Patera get clapping, a, relaxed. Get a little, get a little tight. Get a little tight. Well, it's still three. It's still three. A 
that's a put away right there. Nice dig by Jordan. All right, we got to recover here, yeah. right? That's 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 that's, 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 that's too far in, too far in. Well, now it's a brand new ball game. Good timeout on his part. Yep. Right? Good yep. Timeout. Yeah, you can see that a couple of players right now are getting a little tight. They're they're worried about the points and they're not worried about the play. Well, you know that 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 one that just missed that out of bounds there just missed, and if it was in, it's a whole different ball game. That's 22-18. Yeah, that that set's got to be pushed wider. It's got to be about two or three feet wider. Give give the outside a chance to swing because it's in when she swings cross court. The normal ball that's in is now two, a foot out and. Right. Well, just like you said, they got their three in a row, and now it's a whole different ball game. Yep, yep. And how are we set with our rotation now up front, Coach? Uh, we're we're same way. We haven't sided out yet, so we're we're still dealing with. Uh, and they rotate. Uh, they side out here and rotate. Then the the M1 or the the first middle will come in. Then you'll end up with a, a little stronger opportunity. Um, again, this isn't against Lavania at all in the middle. Right. You know, she's only been playing middle for a week and a half now, two weeks tops, right. you know, as a as a part timer. So, as they say, she's getting thrown to the wolves a little bit right here with two two good middles out of Monroe who are know what they're doing, a little bit bigger, a little bit stronger. And semifinals, the pressure, yeah. yep. tightness. Yep. But I have a feeling Samantha's going to come up big here. Good serve right there. Good serve. That kid's a player at 13. Yeah. Uh, Called her name a couple times. See a lot of uh, both sides. Both sides playing uh, club volleyball in the offseason. A lot of them play for the, the club that I coach at, so recognize and understand the ability of a lot of the girls that are out here. Good, good block touch right there by the by EB. Good big block right there. Okay, 21-21. That's what high school sports is all about. Uh, so far, it's been a game of runs. Good pass right there. Give him an opportunity. It's a smart play right there by Emily. Look, He's having look, a little, little, little bit trouble. of a, a break there, right? Yep. A little bit of a break. Yeah. Now they now uh, Emily Chinchar comes in. I think right now she's uh she got like uh, two kills on four swings. Gives him a little breather, gives the, the setter a little confidence knowing she can set her the ball. Little tip by the middle on that side. They went right back to her. All right, we're hitting it right at him. Swinging right through the block right there. Push over there by Balsamo. Roll shot back to us. Good pass by Jordan. And right back to the middle. Oh, man. Amazing how you can find those holes. Yeah. Imagine trying to swing like that at our age. I think we would have broke a back. <laughs> Hurts looking. Right, let's just get this serve in, right, Sam? Yep. Well, we're, we're, we're good right now. We're coming into a stage where we got two or three good servers in a row if they happen to side out. It's a good ball. A little tight. Look for the tip. Maybe with some good defense coming off that right side attack. Going right back at him. Going right back at him. Coach, can you explain to me why I'm nervous? Can you explain to me why my heart is pounding? Because uh, Unbelievable. Uh, because I am also, and it's rubbing <laughs> off on you at the moment. Uh, I'm, uh, and, uh, and I'm actually lost for uh, words right here, and I apologize to the audience, but they can watch. They see what's going on. Yep. There it is. Great serve by Sam. Great serve by That's Sam. That's what you've been saying. You keep serving the way you have. Yeah, okay. yep. Right. And yep. that was a, a tough serve for the kid. Yeah, uh, Sam's been serving to that, that that position one, team one, the last several weeks and being very confident with it. It's a, a tough ball. You end up with a nine, nine times ten, a, a ball off the net, kind of off the court to the right, right towards the benches, making it hard on the setter to make any kind of a, a quality set. And uh, 
And and like you said, she's been very confident with it and going right back to what she knows. If if it works, don't you know, don't change right. it. it. Ain't broke. And that's where she tried to serve that right away. Yeah, that's that's where she made the mistake last time. She tried to go one, hit a little deep, but uh, she was confident, came right back to it, made another great serve to one. Now you've played many volleyball games here. Is there a difference in the side of the court for our kids psychologically? Um, uh, there used to be. There used right. to be in the sense that uh, before they redid the uh, the screens on the side, the sun would be in your face on, uh, okay. on the starting side. So you would take it so you could win through it knowing that when you went to the other side, the sun would be your back. Right. Now with the with the new screens and stuff. Now, there's no, I don't think there's an advantage. Uh, I think if you go three, uh, it doesn't matter what gym you play in. You're, you're picking your you're first. You have a choice: serve, side, receive. So and, you're going to take the side you want on. Right. right. You're more than more than serve or receive. You're going to take the, the side. Do you do you check with the kids, coach, kids? What side do we want? Or no, if if uh, if, if we win game one on this side, we lose game two. We want that side. We want the, the side we were on to begin with. Now, so uh, now I asked that question besides of the court because in basketball, you know, to our right here, that's. That's where you want the second half. It's in front of your bench, and it's you know it's just what you want to do. I yeah. didn't know if we felt more comfortable on one side of the court or the other. Yeah, some, sometimes, sometimes it depends on where you're playing. Um, mm -hmm. There's certain gyms where their crowds are you know they're 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 very pro their home team, and they can they can get in your head a little bit. Right. So that those are the games where you, you know you want to make sure you get back to you know, the visitor side or in, mm -hmm. maybe in your case, your home side and then keep them on your side and not get them in your head, you know. But uh, for the most part, you know, we, we have a lot of we have a lot of good fans of eyeball games. We don't get too much negativity. No. Um, well, I uh, got to say, uh, Monroe's got a nice turnout there. Uh, wish we had a little more fan support. We always have the the uh, season ticket holder on our parents up there that have been around forever, <laughs> the, the volleyball people. But our kids have played a big game and way gym, so I, I don't see them getting intimidated by the crowd at all. No, not at all. Not at all. All right, so we'll uh, start up the second game in a minute. Remember, it's the best two out of three. And this is the semifinals. Um, yeah, the girls and Monroe still have the state tournament coming up uh, next week. Uh, not sure if I saw the brackets. Uh, I think Coach Retz has got this. Uh, we're the eighth seed, which is, means we're on the road. Nope, that means we're home. We're, home. we're playing the number nine seed. Yep. And we'll try to get back to you. So that should be a Tuesday or Wednesday game here. But once you get to state tournament, Coach, they're all good, right? Everybody's good. Yeah. Um, here's the, the statewide as uh, Monroe here gets ready. Uh, Monroe gets a serve. Uh, statewide, it kind of breaks down like this. If you're a Group 4 school and you're in Central Jersey, you are going to battle. You're going to battle to get to that final. Right. You're going to play. You're going to see two or three schools, but those two or three schools are going to see two or three schools. Uh, if you're a Group 2 or a Group 3 school you gotta, and you're in the north, you're going you're gonna to fight tooth and nail to get out of there. Um, South Jersey tends to be a mix of kind of all three levels, but... Generally speaking, Central Jersey for Group Four, with the uh, with the Bridgewaters, the Hunter and Centrals, the the Ridge, the right. Montgomery, the Monroes, the EBs, it, it's 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 a brawl. Um, oh, a double on the ball over. Well, that's what it is about state tournament. You know, it's in, in conference tournament and county tournament. It's the, the pressure on the kids, sometimes I feel bad for them. No, no. If I have to have all that pressure, they do too. <laughs> Miller, Miller. And break. Tell Lauren to move closer to the line. She's too far away from the line. So that makes it 2-2. Two, two. And... Uh, Hopefully the Bears can get up a, a bunch here and maintain that cushion. I always like when we're up. I mean, I like to be more three and four, but you like that that cushion of three or four. Yeah. Good deep serve there again.
I know sitting here by, uh, by knowing both sides, I know right now I know five girls on the Monroe team. Obviously, I know the EB team pretty well. Um, and look, e EB's really trying to take advantage of out, 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 of out. what uh, of what what they've been scouted, what they know, um, some of the tendencies, especially in serve receive. If you have a player who can't take the ball with their hands, you're going to try to serve them high and make them hand pass right. it. Uh, if they don't move well laterally, you're going to try to force the ball on the seam and make them step to it. Nice double block right there. That's a oh. Chinchar and Horowitz See? on a double. I thought that went out. Oh, I hit third kid on the. Maybe they touched it on the yeah, way down. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we got we got to we got to talk to the TV about getting some better seats here. Remember, a little trouble seeing the net. No, I like I like these <laughs> seats, especially when I'm sitting next to you because you got all the answers. Oh, there. I appreciate that. One of the few spots I can answer with. A, another good serve there by Emily Lou, ripping a ball on the outside right there. The 22. Two years ago, when volleyball first started, coach, you saw a lot of it. We got a, uh, we got a, we got a timeout right now. We got a rolled Injury. ankle, rolled ankle by the right side right now. For EB, um, they've been they've been going through some tough times there. Injury. Last week, the uh, Libera rolled an ankle, was out for a couple days. Um, they're starting middle, their, their six foot middle broke a thumb in practice the other day. So no high tops, huh? That's out for volleyball. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't really benefit them. Uh, I don't see anybody wearing them right now. Uh, there's a company out there called Active Ankle, and it's strictly designed as a lateral support brace, whereas like a basketball brace would support the whole foot, front mm -hmm. to back, side to side. They're, this designed just laterally. Um, I don't personally encourage it for the kids under 15 because they need to gain that ankle strength. Right. Um, but after that, it's kind of a preference. You see it a lot with the boys. They, they wear a lot more of it than the girls do. Um, we'll wait and see. Maybe a, maybe a tape up right there by the trainer. We can get uh, Selena back in here. And replacing Selena was who, Coach? I missed that. Uh, coming in was the, the, the second setter. Uh, sorry, that's up in my throat. Um, Kayla uh, Benz, Benzie. She, uh, she rotates out when that right side comes in. Right. Uh, very capable of hitting in the right side. So um, other than a little height, a little height and some blocking, um, they're not losing much. Kayla's very capable okay. of coming in and, and playing a good right side hitter right there. Good. She hits in practice. So, so this, this is what we want here. Right? That's what they want right there. They want a right. quick set to Jordan. Uh, and Jordan's a junior, right? She's a junior right now. Um, like we said, uh, Jordan, uh, Samantha Balsamo, and uh, the libero, Beth Antonia, uh, they all three made all all division. Okay. And good. then uh, Samantha and Jordan both made all conference as well uh, last night at the all-star selection. Right. So. Uh, did you know if Coach? Uh, I did not hear about. I did not hear about any of the uh, the other stuff. Uh, good defense on their part. Yep, they're gonna play hard all the way through. Another one, another one. Oh, tried to finesse him, okay. All right, go here back, we go. go this back, is a go game. Back. This is a point. There you go, yeah. there you go, there you go. Not three times. But that's what you got to do. That's what you got to do. You got you to gotta feed the big hitter. You got to feed the hot hitter. Um, more than any other between guys and girls, the girls' game can be driven by one hard-hitting player like that, whether it's a middle, whether it's an outside, whether it's a right side, doesn't matter. Right. You set them over and over and over, you're gonna win that battle. Um, the guys' game, they tend to be a little bit bigger, so they can... Oh, uh, boy. Now, now the coach of me says, Go says ahead. bad transition led to a roll shot because she wasn't where she was supposed to be. The bystander says, oh, great roll shot for a point, but... I mean, sometimes you got impromptu. Yeah, you got. Yeah, you got to do what you got to do. Nice play right there by Kale. Good block right there by uh, Lavanya again. She's she got good timing up there again. One. I I don't, I'm not sure there was a contact there, but nobody's arguing it. So going to Jordan here. Oh, oh yeah. Sam. Good look. Good, good look. Good you won a state championship on a play similar to that, right? Uh, uh, Hunter. Yeah. Or yep. was that the win streak game against Southern? That was the same game. 
That was the same game. That was the same game. Oh, no, sorry, sorry. The the uh, the win streak game was the 07 team versus uh, Southern. They were 40-0 going into that right. match. And uh, yeah. and Kyle Barry dumped one for it a game. It was Kyle. Right? I gave yeah. credit to the wrong person. And uh, uh, Greg Hunter played with a, uh, a, a partially torn hamstring in game five of that year to win the state title. And they, on that play like that. On a, right? on a, on a, yeah, an attack by him to win another game point. Yeah. Yep. All right, but we'll get back to the girls. I'm sorry, girls. So the Bears are up 9-4 again. Um, here with uh, Greg Rutz, longtime volleyball coach for the boys and girls. Um, giving up his time to help broadcast this game. This is the semifinals. The, currently, the girls are up one zip. It's the best of three. And the score is nine to four. And we're playing the Monroe Falcons. Coming out right there, coming out right there. Can't have a first serve error no, like that. Can't have a first serve error like that. So they keep teams in the game. And as, and Coach Patera said her that, and told her that, and then went over, and I saw it, gave her a high five. You know, it's over. Play the next game. Play the next point, I should say. Yeah, we've been, we've been trying to press for years, uh, one point at a time, because you can only win one, you can only lose one. There's no three-pointers. There's no two-pointers. Right. So what, whether you destroy a ball to the floor as hard as you possibly can, or whether you just tip it to the floor, it's worth one. Right. So let it go and move on. A little touch right there. Good block again by Lavanya. Save uh, it, save it, save it. Get it up, get it up, get it up. Stay in, stay. Oh. I'm sorry, no more cheering. Hey, good. There it is, good swing deep, good deep swing there. Good, Monroe's not gonna give up. They're gonna continue to take the ball, make good smart plays with it. Yep. All right, it's gonna happen though, right? You gotta keep battling. Well, that was a good rally, both teams. Makes it 9-6. How many is that, Coach? 10? Sorry. 10. 10 hits, I mean. Oh, well, yeah, I have a feeling she's going to get all the swings. No, I thought they had too many hits, but... Uh, uh, remember, a block does not count as a, right. as a, as a touch. So if, the, if they block it, it doesn't count as a touch. And that's my wishful thinking all the time. <laughs> just, uh, okay, 9-7. That's a good ball right there. She's got to get the ball wider. The bigger yeah. blocker's in the middle. It's okay. They, they, they went, both of them went up on her. They made a nice block. It just scooted over. Julia. Julia. That set's got to be wider. That makes it 9-8. Well, like you say, it's sermon time. This is what you expect, right? You expect There we go. Great swing right there. She got that ball wider. Jordan took right. the advantage of the smaller blocker. If they keep that ball inside, the middle blocker, 13 for, uh, for Monroe, that's uh, Emma Trask. She's going to – does a very nice job. Good press, good understanding where the ball's going to be. She's going to win that more often than not. All right, right back to us. Great serve by Kayla right there. Going right back to Jordan. Yeah. She saw the seen that court very well. Now, if I'm Monroe, I'm calling timeout. Just, right? If, I, if I'm on Monroe, I'm not calling timeout. I'm just telling them to go stand over there. They're not going to send anybody else. Just mm -hmm. tell your middle to go stand over there. Let the middle beat you. Because she can't. Okay. The EB middle can't beat you. Just let her go camp outside and put up a better block. Great floater right there. That ball just kept carrying. That may have been out though, huh? Maybe no, I think it was dropping. I think it was dropping. I think she made the right play, but uh, that ball started at a, you know, in front of her and carried to the carried to the end line. So, so the good thing is, um, I mean, what you have to do is you have to play it, right? If you're yes. The yes. Unless you get good communication, if your teammates say out, 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 out. You know, you got to listen. But uh, on a ball like that, I'm sure they yelled in because it was in when it got to her, and it might have been out. <laughs> And like in most sports and, and everything, it's all about communication. Yep. We got to do something a little better with that. Yeah. Let it go. That's it. That's it. That's it. I even called that one. <laughs> so if we keep exchanging here for a few more points, I'll be happy with that. Let's get the serve in, girl. 
Yeah, I feel like uh, I, I feel like they're a little bit on their heels now. They're, Monroe's starting to press. Yeah, what made me think the same thing? They're very streaky, though, right? They're, uh, yeah. I mean, when they well, got the big girls up front. Yep. Well, right now, right now, they're, uh, they're, they're second middle is technically in the game right now, but I think she might be better offensively. Yeah. And their best outsides in the game right now. So and this is the girl that did that yep, she number put on the serve. Four or five serves up last time, so. Yep. There's a double contact right there by Kayla. Trying to, probably trying to force a set that was unnecessary, but more importantly, I think we need to pass better. That ball needs to be inside a 10-foot line, give the setter opportunities to run all three hitters and not have to, you know, force a ball like that and cause an error. Like that, much better pass. There we go. Emily, Good play. Emily just three-quarter placing balls, tool on the outside of the blocker's hand. Not doing anything fancy. And that's a plus for us. Right? I'll, I'll, I'll take that all day long. Yeah. I'll take any point, any time. <laughs> get there, get there, get there. Great touch, great touch. Of a let serve like that. Give it back to her, give it back to her. Nice swing right there by They keep Chincho. the ball alive, Monroe. They play great defense. As we, that stems from their coach. As we always do and always have ever since you've been here. Good communication by our girls on that, calling for the ball. Great swing right there. Yeah. EB's not getting across. Good rally in both teams. Good pass right there by Beth. We're going to put that. Yeah, you're not going to win that one. So that's just that athletic ability being ready for the ball. Yep. yep. All right. Uh, since you coach them and you know them and you work with them, what's he saying right now? It's 14 13. It's game two. Yeah, they're, they're not pressing at all. They're just reaching. They're not pressing. What's that? So right now it's 14-13. What's he saying right now? It's game two of a three-game set. Yeah, I, I think this is where you kind of break out the uh, let's play to win, let's play, don't play not to lose. Correct. And there's two different things, and uh, the playing not to lose will lead you to lose every single time. And you can see some of the girls are starting to get tight. They're starting to worry about the errors they make instead of worried about what the next thing they have to do. Okay, so I made, I, I did this. What's the next thing I have to do? Get the ball, make a set, make a pass. But whatever it is, they've got to focus on the next positive, not the last negative. Uh, right. N next, next ball, next play, next hit. Yep. I mean, we didn't get to be the number one seed with the record of 22 and two by not being aggressive. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's uh, one of the things you don't see enough at youth sports right now, where there's not enough kids taught. Not necessarily how to win, but how to control their emotions well, during we, during play. Well, we, we celebrate too early, it seems. We're, we're too worried about winning. We're too worried about the the fancy stuff. Great swing there by Emma Lou right there. See, that's too fast for me. And when your wife was here with me, she could see that right away. I had no idea who got that point. <laughs> <laughs> well, we also know the, the, the players a little bit better. That's all. It just yeah. it was too fast for me. I right, get this in, Sam. There it is, right to, right to seam two right there again, fighting that side of the court. Great defense right there by Sam. That's why she's all conference right there. She's a very good defender. Great swing right there by Emily. If I, if I count it right, that's three in a row for Emily Liu where she's made a smart swing. She told the block, she pushed him down the line, three-quarter right. roll to the corner. I, I was just going to say the same thing. I thought it was three in a row, too. Yeah. Uh, just, just, and she's not doing more than she can. She's just putting a ball in, in places where they're having difficulty and winning points. And, and that, that makes a great team. Yeah, definitely. A great player, play within you. Uh, uh, Try to put a little more on it. Ball got a little behind her, that's all. Great serve, nice deep ball. Not that Jordan has any problems taking the ball with her hands, but. Kept us off the net. Well, when they swing like that, it's so, it, the, the reaction time, play it or let it go out is 
But that's experience. That's playing that's all the time, playing on you know where it's going. Yep, yep. It's like when the pitcher gives up one of those home runs, he doesn't bother looking. He, he knows, knows it's gone. <laughs> get in, get in. It's two in a row for us, two in a row for us. Trying to, trying to win games with serves like that, not just, you know, earn points. They're trying to win games. And like I said, you can only win one. In the last, uh, about last 15 minutes, uh, Monroe fans have doubled here at East Brunswick. Yeah, I've seen that. Great serve right there. Oh, there, it there it is. All right, we'll take, we'll take a miscommunication very, point any day. Very uncharacteristic yes. of them. Yes. They're, now, they're, we're in good shape now with Jordan over yeah. the far, yep. right? Yep, and realistically, we, right now, we do have two good hitters on the floor. Kayla can swing from the right side. Um, and I wouldn't. I wouldn't set the middle, not because of her inabilities, but because of the middle's abilities of their, right. of their side. Good hustle, girls. That's it. That's it. Smart play right there. Oh, unlucky. Unlucky. Smart play, Levi. Lavanya, though, took a nice ball, set it nice and high to the back row, gave them a chance to, you know, put a hard ball in play. It was the right play. Okay, it makes it 18-16, as the crowd can see. This is the second game of a three-game set. Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna try to do that a lot coming down the stretch, and I don't blame them. Okay, let's let's get the Kayla get the serve in for Mr. Knopp. Right. Yeah, just a bad read on that, right? Yeah, I think uh, uh, the, the blocker made a deflection. Jordan made a made a touch on it, and then Lavani just couldn't get back in a position. She saw the middle going up the swing and just said, okay, I got to block it. And right. That's not even an experience. That's just, you know, bad ball placement by, by us. Great free ball. Good communication, girls. Angle. Jordan's got to get outside faster. She's not giving them an opportunity to swing. Go, go, go. Oh, give it right Sorry. back to you her. said no cheering, right? Too close. Net. Oops. Well, I can cheer. I, I, ah, we both can cheer. I, uh, I, I really thought they were going to call net there. I guess the ball was down before she hit net. Is that score correct? No, it should be 20. Yeah, that's all right. They'll get it. Uh, we got a lot of help out there. And you see uh, the referee letting them know we got it. We got it. Yeah, it's uh, the only job fans have, right, is to make sure the scoreboard is correct. Mm -hmm. Technically, right, the scoreboard's only there for them. That's right. right? That's the official thing down there. And it's, it's funny, when I'm watching the scoreboard being a homer, I just never see the points go fast enough up enough, <laughs> quick enough for the home team. Well, we got some spirit going back and forth, the, the JV team. And your freshman team, uh, a lot of progression this year. Yeah, we, uh, we they did a real nice job. I know uh, some scores, some some losses didn't show it, but uh, from when we started to where we ended, that, that group did a really nice job of learning how to play volleyball and, you know, when you're really just starting, that's, that's Nice swing right there. And then what they got to do now is do the camps and the leads, and, right? Yeah, they got to get out and get touches. That's all. Like any sport, you got to play. Okay, nice, nice hit on their part. And here we are, 2018, and they've got uh, 13 serving again, and this is what they wanted. Yep, yep. They got two good hitters up front and a good server going at Emily. I don't know where that's going. That's good. That's a good free ball. Even if it's high, they had to think about it. It's a double. The setter, the setter is getting nervous. You can tell a, a contact like that is, and she doesn't have to be. She's got two good middles. She could put the ball anywhere she wants. Those girls are going to get it right now. Well, you see, you're talking a whole different language because my heart's pounding. And I'm, <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm following the ball. I'm, I'm comfortable right now because uh, even though EB's not playing at 100%, partly because of injury, um, 
They, they have control of this match right now. They, they have the flow. Not, not to say that Monroe can't take it. They've played great defense today. Right. Right. Uh, they've run some good offense out of the middle. Just get the serve in. That's it. Beth's throwing strikes right there, throwing strikes. Pitching a little bit for softball. Great free ball. Nice job by Emily getting out of the way. Emily and Kayla right there, the setter in the middle are best friends. They better have good chemistry. That's it. Here we go, dude. That's it, M. That's it, M. What's that? That's four it. in a row for her? That's, Five in that, a row? Uh, yeah. That's that's that's. She's four for four on kills right now. All right. She's got to get the serve in. And right now it's about placement. They gotta they gotta attack the middle two seams, make them pass with their hands, or rip one like that. That'll work. A defense right there by the libero, Beth. Not a great choice right there. Oh, good play. Not a, not a good choice by the setter right there. He didn't, oh, hit, the, hit, hit the didn't, beam there? Yeah, hit the beam. I, uh, I tried to tell Coach Inazza to make the uh, ceiling higher. He just, you know, he just didn't want to listen. The, the cost differential was too great? Yeah. Watch tip right there. Watch tip right there. Good control play right there by Monroe. Again, though, that's a free ball. It's got to be a better pass. And great defense by the purple right there. And by the Bears. That's it. That's it. Playing. Everybody right now is afraid to make the mistake. They're all putting right. up. This girl's going to swing. She's got no fear. That's a, but, but you want that out of your player. You want yeah, her going up with confidence and you swinging do. with a possible game point on the line, swinging right. a win. And, and, and that's just confidence. You know, it's, it's like swinging the bat or throwing the fastball. Yep. You got to commit to it. All right. Go for the kill here, or are you going to get it in? Uh, she's placing this ball deep corner to one, making her think about it right there. Yep. Wow, you should be a coach. You know what you're doing. My goodness. Hey, I've well, seen that once or twice before. Well, I'd like to personally congratulate the girls and coach and thank uh, Mr. Rutz. I know you were still coaching here, so you have a big influence on this team. Uh, congratulations to you guys. They'll be going to Stevens, I believe it's Saturday for another GMC championship. Yep. Uh, so congratulations to them. Thank you for taking time of your, uh, out of your busy schedule. And, uh, well, luck. I was either sitting here or I was sitting there. So I got All to right. watch. This is, this is less stressful right here than down there. So I, I appreciate the time. All right. Thank and, you, Mr. Knopp. And everybody always remember, go Bears.